morning, church. My name is Agnes Debisi. I'm originally from Botswana, but I'm married here in South Africa. And this is my daughter, Cindy Lelubisi. Children of God, I'm here to come and testify the goodness of the Lord in my life. Or in the life of my daughter. Uh, ever since my daughter um, started seeing her, uh, her periods, she's always been having period pains, severe period pains. I, every time when she comes from school or before she goes to school, she'll be just having a lot of pains and she will be like sleeping, like refusing to go to school just because she loves school. She just forced herself to go to school. So on the 1st of October last year, we came to church and uh, we were privileged to join the, the prayer line. We joined the prayer line and prophet prayed for us and she also prayed for my daughter. The man of God didn't say anything on that day. She just prayed for her. She fell under the anointing. See, and on that day, on the 1st of October when we were coming here, she refused to come to church because on that day she was on her period. So she refused to come. She was just sleeping and saying, Mama, I don't want to go. I'm not feeling well. You know when I'm in this days, um, um, I cannot do anything. So she was just sleeping. I begged her. She, you know how mothers beg the kids, <laughs> their daughters. I went to her bed. I sat on next to her. I said, please, my girl, let's go to church. Maybe this is the day that God is going to set you free. And you know we're supposed to go to the prayer line today. She just came out of the bed. We came to church. Pray, prophet prayed for her. Since on that day, October, end of October, November, December, January, my daughter, she's totally healed. She's no longer having period pains up to today. Up Amen. To today. Praise the Lord. Ma'am, can you hear a word from your daughter about the period pains? Sister, uh, please introduce yourself and tell us how painful are they? Good morning, church. Um, the pains, like they were very bad. I couldn't even concentrate at school. Couldn't even do anything. And since that day that you <coughs> never had them again, uh, how do you I feel? I, I, was, I was amazed and I was also happy that like, I'm free. Praise the Lord. Ma'am, can you share with us uh, your second testimony? Um, my second testimony goes like this. I was failing in school, grade 9, ever since J, ever since I started school. And then it was on January last year, I came to church and I wasn't sure which subject I should take for grade 10. And then I wrote some of the things that I wanted God to do for me on my prayer point and prophet came to me and he said that whatever that I wrote on my paper about my studies it will come true and I shall not worry about it and he also prayed for me in June examinations I used my oil every day when I went to school and I anointed myself and then um, uh, I came out position one in my stream and I got the opportunity to go to Limpopo for one week student vacation. And then I also came to church on the uh, anointing oil service. And Prophet said that all the students should always take their oil to school. And we should anoint ourselves. And we should also take off our shoes when we are writing the exams. I did all that. And... Um, I obtained position one in my general stream for the final examinations, and I got position three overall. Praise the Lord. We thank God for you receiving position three. Can you please uh, show us uh, the certificates that you have there? And tell us, uh, that's the certificate for? This is the certificate for position overall and position one in my general stream. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. Can you hear a word from your mom? Mom. 
Ma'am, how do you feel knowing that your child has made you so proud? I'm just a happy mother. Um, it's amazing because um, I've never in my life went to school to receive an award for my children. Out of my five kids, I have four boys and one girl. So she's the one who just brought a miracle in my life. For me to receive that award, it was something amazing. It was like a miracle to me. Because uh, she was always complaining of her studies. And on that January, because she was confused which subject she will do, and Prophet brought the word to her. That word really bring a change, brought a change to her life. And when she talks about Prophet Isaka, she doesn't want to give me a break. She will just say, Mama, today I'm going to church. If I wish I, I would have the privilege to join the, the prayer line because where I want to go is not here. She wants to be a pilot. But because of some of the subject which is not doing well, she wants to go for something else. But we pray to God that it will come to pass. Praise the Lord. Amen. Ma'am, can you share with us uh, your word of advice? Um, my word of advice to the parents is... Um, the Bible says expectations of the righteous shall not be cut short. So I was expectant to God that everything that I ask, because every time I write on my prayer point, I, I put my children on. And I, I always prayed, ever since I gave birth to her, because she's my only girl, I said to God, Lord, I pray that this girl will not be anything like me. We go through a lot of challenges as women. We do things that we, find our, we don't want to do, but we find ourselves doing. I pray to God that she will not be anything like me. So my prayer is, let's all parents pray for our children and declare the word of God upon them. Thank you. Amen. Ma'am, can you hear a word of advice uh, from your child? And sister, what word of advice do you have for the youth that are still in school? Okay, I'd say that don't focus a lot on the things of the world and always have faith in God and pray about everything that you want. Amen. Can we clap hands for our Master Jesus? Uh, Ma'am, thank you for your wonderful testimony and we pray that God will continue to be with you now and forevermore. Amen.